G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now there are three features that were rolled out in June 2023 that you may have missed that we are going to take a look at right now. But before we do that, a huge thank you to today's video sponsor. Now today's video is brought to you by TeamFlect. Now TeamFlect is an all-in-one performance management software designed specifically for Microsoft Teams. Now Teams Flect users can create and track tasks, manage goals and OKRs, practice 360 degree feedback, conduct entire performance review cycles. And you can do so much more without ever having to leave Microsoft Teams. And the best part is, TeamFlect is completely free with full functionality for up to 10 users. Not TeamFlect Lite, not a limited trial period, but free with full functionality. So you can demo it with a small team for as long as you want. And if you'd like, then even you can invest in it yourself. Now, the first one we're going to take a look at is chat density. Now, one of the things that uh, we often see now is that we are going to be inundated with our chat conversations, both in our list, but also the density of the chat when we're actually inside the body of the chat as well. So you can see on the screen here that I'm in this chat. Uh, now, if we go up to the settings of Microsoft Teams, you can see now that we've got a new chat density option called compact. Now, when we change this to compact you'll see in the background that it squeezes up and we get to see at least 50% more of our chats in this particular mode if we want to change back into comfy mode then we can do that as well we just jump into cha uh, to chat density and change that to comfy mode now you may have seen another little toggle button there too toggle switch now this little toggle switch here show message previews in your chat list so your chat list is the thing on the left hand side so if we don't want to show that and we want to save even more space then what we can see here is when I've turned that off then you can see that we've just got the chat list there not the preview as well that also works with the uh, the compact chat density too so now what we've got is a condensed uh, chat list but also inside the chat we've got a more compressed chat density as well in there so a nice little improvement there now also coming in June was the mark all uh, as red functionality in your activity feed. So now we can have similar to what we've got in Outlook. We hit the three little dots and we've got mark all as red. So another little feature coming to uh, Microsoft Teams as well. Now, another thing, if you are using your location or notifying people of where you are, are working, whether you're home or remote, we have the option in the top right-hand corner when you click on your profile picture, you can see next to the status message here or your status, um, and we can also now set our location. So if you're working from the office, we can hit office, uh, and then we've got the remote location and also the clear location. Now, one thing hopefully, would be amazing would be the functionality here to be able to select multiple offices. So if you're a, uh, an organization that has uh, multiple offices uh, geographically dispersed and you're moving between different offices, then having the ability to set that office, which office you're in here would be uh, fantastic and a great user experience there. Now, how does this work uh, from somebody that's looking at your profile? So let's have a look at Nestor over here. And so what we've got, we've set Megan to be working at the office. Let's just select Megan here. And what we can see here is when we hover over Megan's profile card, she's available all day and you can see that she is working from the office. Now, if we change that, so we'll change Megan's office location to the office, um, oh, sorry, to home or remote, then what we'll see is that will be reflected uh, in this uh, setting here or in this section of her profile there as well. So there we have it, three new features in Microsoft Teams that are now available. Being able to mark all of your activity feed as red, being able to set your uh, location, whether that be remote or in the office, and also changing your chat density so that you can have a more compact view. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching this edition, and I'll see you in the next one.